Have you ever wondered where the roots of one of the world's oldest civilizations lie? Let's pull back the curtain of time and take a journey to the Indus Valley Civilization, an ancient society that thrived around 5,000 years ago. The Indus Valley Civilization was an urban marvel of its time, boasting impressive city planning that's still admired today. Picture a bustling metropolis meticulously planned with a grid-like layout. Streets ran straight, intersecting at right angles, and houses built of baked brick boasted sophisticated drainage systems. This was not a society of chance, it was a society of order. This civilization was not just impressive architecturally, but also socially. The absence of grand palaces or monumental structures suggests a society where wealth might have been evenly distributed. There were no kings or queens living in opulent splendor. Instead, it seems to have been a civilization of skilled artisans, farmers, and merchants. Speaking of merchants, the Indus Valley was a hub of trade. Artifacts from as far as Mesopotamia have been found in the ruins of the Indus cities, indicating a vast network of commerce. They traded in goods like textiles, grains, and precious stones, marking their presence on the world stage. Two of the most prominent cities of this civilization were Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro. Both cities were marvels of urban planning and their ruins provide a glimpse into the lives of the people who once called them home. Yet, despite these advances, the civilization's decline remains shrouded in mystery. Was it a change in climate, invasion, or internal conflict that led to their downfall? Theories abound, but the truth remains elusive. The Indus Valley civilization may have vanished, but its legacy endures. Its influence can be seen in the cultural, religious, and artistic traditions that have shaped India over the centuries. Thus, the Indus Valley civilization was a remarkable early urban culture that laid the foundation for the subsequent history of India. And as we delve deeper into the annals of history, we'll uncover even more layers of this rich and complex past. So stay with us as the journey has only just begun. From the ashes of the Indus Valley civilization, a new society emerged, the Vedic period. This era marked the arrival of the Aryans, a group of Indo-European tribes who migrated from Central Asia. With their arrival came the creation of the Vedas, the oldest scriptures of Hinduism. These texts, rich with hymns, rituals, and philosophies, laid the foundation for much of Indian culture and religion. But the Vedic period was just the beginning. As centuries rolled on, the need for a more structured society arose. Enter Chandragupta Maurya, a visionary who saw the potential of a united India. He established the Maurya Empire, setting in motion a new chapter in Indian history. Under Chandragupta's rule, the empire flourished, trade routes expanded, the economy strengthened, and arts and literature thrived. However, it was his grandson Ashoka who truly left a lasting impact. Ashoka expanded the empire further, reaching as far as modern-day Afghanistan and Bangladesh. But Ashoka was not just a conqueror, he was a reformer. Stricken with guilt after the brutal Kalinga War, he converted to Buddhism and committed to a policy of peace and welfare. His edicts, inscribed on pillars and rocks across the empire, spoke of tolerance, kindness, and respect for all life. However, like all great empires, the Maurya Empire had its share of turbulence. Internal conflicts and external threats led to its eventual downfall. But the legacy of the Mauryas was far from over. They had set a precedent for administrative efficiency and economic policies that future empires would strive to emulate. Moreover, they made significant contributions to Indian culture. From the promotion of Buddhism and the creation of beautiful art and architecture, to the establishment of a sophisticated legal system, the Mauryas shaped the fabric of Indian society. The Mauryas left an indelible mark on India, shaping its political, social, and cultural landscape. Their reign signaled the rise of empires, setting the stage for the golden age of India that was yet to come. Following the Mauryas, a new power rose to prominence, ushering in a golden age, the Gupta Empire. This period spanning from the early 4th to the late 6th century was marked by remarkable advancements in various fields, making it a bright beacon in the annals of Indian history. The Guptas were great patrons of science and mathematics. They made significant strides in these fields, with the scholar Aryabhata even proposing the Earth rotates on its own axis. They developed the decimal system and the concept of zero fundamental aspects of modern mathematics. Astronomy too flourished during this period. Detailed astronomical observations and calculations were recorded, many of which remain accurate even today. 
They even had a sophisticated understanding of eclipse cycles and the sun's relative distance from the Earth. The Gupta period was also a time of religious tolerance and philosophical inquiry. Hinduism saw a resurgence and Buddhism continued to thrive. The creative output of this time was immense, particularly in the realm of Sanskrit literature. The great Indian epics, the Mahabharata and the Ramayana, were composed during this period, providing a profound exploration of dharma or duty and the human condition. Art and architecture too flourished, with intricate sculptures and exquisite temples reflecting the aesthetic sensibilities of the time. The Gupta style has significantly influenced Indian art and architecture ever since. The Gupta Empire, with its intellectual and artistic accomplishments, truly represents a high point in Indian history. Amidst the political upheavals, two religions that would significantly impact the world were born, Buddhism and Jainism. In the 6th century BCE, a prince named Siddhartha Gautama renounced his royal life in search of spiritual enlightenment. After years of meditation and introspection, he attained enlightenment becoming the Buddha, which means the enlightened one. His teachings encapsulated in the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path emphasize the impermanence of life and the need to break free from the cycle of rebirth. Buddhism spread far and wide from India to China, Japan, and Southeast Asia, profoundly influencing their cultures. In the same era, another significant spiritual leader emerged, Mahavira. He revitalized the ancient Jain tradition, emphasizing nonviolence, truth, and asceticism. The core principle of Jainism, ahimsa, or nonviolence, extends to all living beings, influencing dietary habits and daily routines of followers. Jainism might not have spread as extensively as Buddhism, but its impact on Indian society and philosophy is undeniable. These two religions, born from the same cultural milieu, offered new paths towards spiritual liberation. They rejected the ritualistic Brahmanic tradition, promoted ethical conduct, and provided solace in a time of social and political unrest. Their open accessibility attracted a broad spectrum of society, including those marginalized in the rigid social hierarchy. Buddhism and Jainism, with their profound philosophies, continue to guide the spiritual lives of millions around the globe. Ancient India, a cradle of civilization, has a history that is both rich and inspiring. From the urban sophistication of the Indus Valley, through the spiritual revelations of the Vedic era, to the imperial grandeur of the Maurya and Gupta empires, India's past is captivating. The rise of Buddhism and Jainism further enrich this tapestry, offering profound philosophies that still influence millions today. As we delve into the annals of history, it becomes apparent that the legacy of ancient India continues to resonate in the modern world.